Hello. Welcome back. We are on the go. So yeah, heading over to Germany. Just saw one of my friends get into neutral. You, oh, it's 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 got the automatic brake on, but it got the hill assist on. It goes a little bit harder into neutral. Oh, here we go. So fun fact: if you give it gas, look look at the scent. Look what it does. See that? It goes to the left. That's not me. That's seriously. That's just the just the bikes rolling to the left. Now, so I don't really know how these similar cylinders work. Do they actually do like that, or do like do they like? I believe with the crankshaft they do like like that or something like. That. I I don't know. <laughs> it does shift really fun. Anyway, so when I have it in, uh, let's say road, I stand up and I I do bouncy bouncy. It's like really. It's like really bouncy, and then when I go, no, no, don't go, don't go into the menu, Smokey. And then when I put it into dynamic, it's like, it's it's not as bouncy anymore. It's like it feels feels what I want to do. I have no idea. Ah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit harder on the highway. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so I'm riding straight into the wind, and when I stick my hand out, yeah, there is like a lot of wind. It's only hitting my my wrists on top. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Badass Lada! Oh yeah, dude, you rock! He's having an espresso. He's having an espresso in a Lada. What an absolute champ! I do wonder how many people I can catch today on their cell phones because there are a lot of people on their cell phones today. See that guy? He was already calling on his cell phone. Now I'm on a motorcycle, and every single car is like a potential death trap. Every car that is not paying attention to me could possibly kill me. He could probably kill the windmill as well, but I seriously don't care. I have no love for windmills. Now, in a second, I will be riding from Belgium into the Netherlands and crossing the border. And you guys are probably wondering, like, well, how is that like? Is there going to be an anal cavity search? Is there armed patrol? Is there police? What, what, what's going on? I mean, if you cross some borders, like North Korea, <laughs> you're probably going to die. So how is it if you go from Belgium into the Netherlands? How is that border control? How is it? I'll show you in a second. As you can tell, the road is pretty crap. And suddenly the road becomes perfectly fine. And we and this guy in front of me is cleaning his f***ing windshield. F***ing sake! Every single time. And it stinks! It reeks! What the f***? Dude, stop cleaning your windshield when a motorcycle is behind it. Anyway, so that's that's how you get from Belgium into the Netherlands. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. I kicked my shin again against the cylinders I kicked it again I can't bring anything else with me so I have to take something small that I can drink right now something small small water oh, oh I can't I can't do that hot sausage rolls is breakfast oh yeah I see is that how do? That was absolutely disgusting. Oh, we got a BMW. Yes, yes. You have a brother. We have a brother over there, isn't it? Isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Hello, brother. Starting it up. Where's my BMW GS brother? Oh, he's over there. Do I have to go over and say hello? How how does this work? How does the BMW GS group work? Do I have to say hello? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, just gonna, yeah, nobody cares. Nobody cares. I'm just gonna do it like that. Here we go. Anyway, I just read two articles in the newspaper of Netherlands and I already had enough. Now, the food was terrible. Do we need an electric charge? No, we do not. Now, the food was terrible. I read two articles, one saying that a woman is breastfeeding her husband and it causes some trouble. I'm like, yeah. And the other one said that there are 49 million kangaroos, 49 million kangaroos in Australia and there are 3.4 million people living in Uruguay. So if, if in case it happens, it could, and the Australian kangaroos invade Uruguay, every Uruguayan or every man that lives there has to fight off 14 Kangaroos, 14 kangaroos. I I couldn't really come up with a name, but I feel like the kid from the Terminator videos. 
that's why. <laughs> so I'm wondering if I got adaptive cruise control. So am I going to crash into the car in front of me? <laughs> yes I am, yes I am. So yeah, uh, question noted, it does not have adaptive cruise control. So I've been from Belgium into the Netherlands and now I'm going from the Netherlands into Germany. So border patrol, anal cavity searches, do you have any idea what is going to happen in a couple miles? I'll show you when I change country. Road changes. Got a weird ass building. Got some German language. And there is no top speed regulation anymore. This is the Autobahn, ladies and gentlemen. I can drive, I can ride as fast as I want. So yeah, I really gotta be a little bit careful because sometimes on the left lane, cars are like flying 200 kilometers an hour. That's the Polizei, you see that? That's uh, police from German. So on the Autobahn, what we gotta do, we close this jacket, close the jacket. Now I do wonder at what speed it becomes uncomfortable to be sitting upright on a BMW GS. I guess we have to test that one out. I'm getting wet. This sucks. Monkey balls, god dang it. Officially took the wrong exit and I have no idea where I'm going. I have to check my phone. I'm absolutely lost. Dang it. Good idea, Smokey, coming to Germany without a GPS. Very good, very nice. Good job. Also, very smart idea. I have set my GPS on my phone to my headset. So the girl in the background is now telling me where to go. But I was so smart to open Google Maps and the iPhone map at the same time. Now, Siri is yelling at me to go right at the same time as the Google lady is telling me to go right. And they're like overlapping each other and I can't really hear what they're saying because they're like bitch fighting or something. What the hell? <laughs> Makes absolutely no sense. Brabus! What is Brabus? Thank Oh, these are race lights. Orange screen, go! Oh, <laughs> these German guys, they, they, they go with orange or something. So he's going to point me the way or something. I have no idea what he said, but he said down the lane and then to the, to the left. Five minutes later. No Brabus so far, so I'm not really sure if he's gonna take me home with him and he understand something different than I said Brabus, but we'll just wait and see. He looked like a really friendly guy. Ah, Brabus on the right or links? Aha! Also nur noch 500 Meter. Ah, perfect, perfect, schön. Wenn dir das cool, Brabus? <lacht> ist okay. <lacht> Teuer. Ja, ich weiß das, ich weiß das. <lacht> what a guy, what a guy. Here it is, here it is, here it is, Brabus. <lacht> Tschüss. Make sure I don't hit any. Yeah, buddy. We got the smarts, we got the C classes, we got our fountains. Do not drink of the fountains. Now the only problem we have is security. I did not get an invite. I did not make an appointment. So the security guy is going to be like, what's, what's this time problem? And I'm going to be like, eh, just open the gate. This is probably not going to work. Anyway, let's see what we get. <sighs> He's not gonna let me in. I have a BMW. It's a uh, Smokey. <laughs> so we got the classics over here. Uh, these are six star restoration classics. Look what's coming out of the garage over here. Yes, it is the brand new Porsche Turbo S tuned by Brabus. Oh yeah, it is. Anyway, uh, we're gonna dump the bike on some kind of parking spot. Look at that. <laughs> and we got some, <laughs> look at that. We got some crazy stuff going on over here. Anyway, I'm going to park it here on a cross where there's absolutely no parking allowed. Oh man, I love this place. Absolutely love this place. Look at that. <laughs> Gonna unwrap my presents, my gifts. I'm bearing gifts, guys. I'm bearing gifts. Oh, we got a Brabus V12. 
Exclusive luxury cars, V12. Oh shit. Oh, I always fall in love. Every single time I come here, I fall absolutely in love. It actually turns out that my buddy Mark and my buddy Sven, great, they are not here. They, the one is at an event, the other one is at home office because of COVID, most likely. But anyway, gonna drive a little bit around the parking lot. Not too much because I can't really record all the cars here, but gonna have you guys take a look at the new S-Class and look at this thing. Look at that. I don't really like red, but that thing is absolutely bonkers. Anyway, another G-Class over there. I can't record the license plates in this parking lot, so if there are any license plates, I am going to uh, probably cut out the video, just a small part. But because most of the customer cars, you know, can't really have to buy plates on the video. Da -da 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 -da. Over here we get the Rocket 900. This is one of uh, 25 that will be made. 900 horsepower G-Class, 585,000 euros. We got the showroom over there, showroom over here. We also got E-Classes and another Rocket in there. I'm gonna ask for the Rocket for a week. Pack it back. Oh, that's like a big Maybach? Yeah, that's a Maybach. Most likely a Maybach. Anyway, so on normal occasion you cannot come here and drive around the parking lot. I'm pretty sure I can. So these are our G-Classes. Yes, G-Classes. It takes two years. If you want one, you're gonna have to wait two years. Because Brabus has bought them all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, these are a lot of G-Classes. So we got one row. We got another row. We got a lot of them are just here in fresh packages. We got more G-Classes. G-Class, G-Class, G-Class. They're all waiting to be built and turned into uh, G800, G900, Rocket Virgins, uh, whatever, a Rocket Virgin. Sheesh. Anyway, not gonna spend too much time here anymore. I wish I could, but yeah, none of my friends are here. I'm gonna cross the XLPs. Gonna drive next to the XLPs in a second. Show you guys what an XLP is. An XLP is actually a G-Class. Uh, it does cost a little bit of money, but they cut up a G-Class, they raise it, they give it eight and 900 horsepower. Yeah, these things are <coughs> pretty crazy. And these wheels, the wheels you can see here on the little one, they are coming onto my, um, onto my trailer, onto my foldable trailer. Anyway. We are leaving, and yes, in case you didn't know, we got more XLPs. We also have a Tesla over there, and you see on the door it says StarTech. Now, in case you didn't know, Brabus also tunes Teslas. Yes, StarTech is the company behind Tesla tuning, and it's owned by Brabus. And now you know. So we got the Minis over, we got the Smarts over here, and we got, yes, the brand new Rolls-Royce Ghost tuned by Brabus. Uh, I've been driving that thing and it's an absolute beast <sighs> and a big boss is Ferrari. Anyway, let's get back out of here. I'll come back next time. Cheers! Absolutely love this place. Every time I come here I get like goosebumps. God dang it. <clears throat> now I was going to pop a wheelie onto this uh, autobahn but I got a feeling it's not gonna be a lot of wheelies today I'm just gonna join the herd oh he's got an RC8 oh yeah now that's what I like that's a nice bike a little wheelie just just a little wheelie for the KTM guy for the KTM guy damn that dude has got an RC8 now that that is an epic bike. I didn't really recognize it from behind. That's my fault because I'm just an idiot. But damn, RC8. Thing is a freaking legend. I know KTM is saying that there is no market for uh, like sports bikes and like a brand new RC8 1290. Dude, that would be so lit. No, it cannot be. I have seen dozens, dozens of BMW GSs. Is it? Is it the BMW GS? Yes, it's a GS. Yes, it's an older model GS, but god damn it, what's up with all these GS's? It's like the world is like infected with GS's. 85. This thing is like really stable. Just doing GS things. 205. 10. Yeah. Thank you, well. Shit, there's like a lot of people going on in there. Absolutely hate it. 
Got my uh, chicken bacon sandwich and some weird drink. Huh. If there's anything I hate, it's crowded places. I need nature. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Adventure S, baby. Adventure S. That's right. Oh, yeah. Now, I am going to be honest. I just got off the highway and I'm going to take a lot of shortcuts home because I want to really ride it and don't be ridden by it. Now, if you ask me, Smokey, what do you got to say about it? I was like, I don't know. I've been riding this motorcycle for all week now, close to like a thousand kilometers or even more. And I wish I could say something bad to my KTM fans, but there is nothing bad I can say. I mean, everything about it is just good. My ass, I adjusted like 400 kilometers in one piece. My ass is like a, a one or a two out of 10. So the seat is better as my, as my 1290. But the only thing and the best way I can describe this bike is actually compared to you got two best friends my best friend Dave my best friend Tom and you take him to a bar now Tom is a really calm guy and you're gonna have a lot of fun with Tom with Dave you're also gonna have a lot of fun they're both fun guys but Tom walks into the bar and he's like hey Smokey what's up dude I want to have a beer let's have a drink you want to go to the to the discotheque to the to the party later and this and that I'll be okay okay and by the end of the night you're gonna have a great time. Now Tom, he's chill, he's relaxed. You're gonna have a good time with Tom. He's the BMW. Now in comes Dave. Dave comes into the bar, starts yelling his ass off. Yeha! Tequila! Tequila! Goes totally wild. What a party! Starts dancing on the table, throws a couple shots at tequilas, and is ready for the night. You're going to have a good night with Dave as well. It's gonna be a crazy night, but it's going to be a good night. Some people prefer to have a good night out with Tom, the more gentle giant. Some people prefer to go out with Dave. Crazy Dave. Just yelling, screaming, here I am. Rah, rah, rah. That's the KTM 1290 Super Adventure R for you. It's just more crazy, more... F it's, it, it, both are fun to ride, but the KTM just gives you more more feeling. Like this engine is, is really smooth, really comfortable, shits really good, sounds good. But the KTM is like... It's just a crazy cousin of this one. It's just a crazy cousin. And I do understand BMW Jazz riders. I've seen like at least 30 when riding the highway today. And I understand why they take these machines to the highway because they are good. Super Adventure S is also good, more comparable to this one. But still the Super Adventure S, that engine, that LCA 1290, it's just, yeah, I gotta say it like it is. It's just more aggressive. It is just way more aggressive as this one. Of course, because of the more horsepower, but also the feeling, the feedback you get back from an engine. That's why, you know, some people also have Ducatis with dry open clutches. That thing rambles and, and makes a lot of sound, but people actually get a lot of feedback from it. And some people love that. That's the only bad thing I can actually say about a brand new 2022 BMW R1250 GS Adventure. That is, for me, it is too easy too smooth too sexy and just by that bombshell we're going to end it right here i'm gonna head home and jump in my pool anyway thank you guys again for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video give it a thumbs up if you give it a thumbs up you get more spread out and something's beeping anyway thank you guys so much for watching drive safe i'm out peace Nice. Mm, blueberry vape. Nice. Mm, it's not that bad.